Okay, so here we are driving up into uh, Diamond Head. You can see the views are just absolutely beautiful. Um, and here is the uh, road taking us up into Diamond Head. So when you come into the park here, there's a visitor center. Um, this is the only restroom in the park, uh, right up in this area. So if you need to use the restroom, you want to use it now. And uh, right over here is the old uh, range where they used to shoot rifles and pistols uh, when there was a base here. And there are rules, no pets are allowed on the trail. Um, that's probably one of the most asked questions. And uh, there's a gift shop down here as well. Here are some, uh, some information about the crater. And this used to be an old military base. Uh, Lee Ahi is uh, what the Hawaiians named it. And uh, it's it's uh, definition for the tuna fin because it kind of looks like a tuna fin from a distance. Um, the uh, uh, there were some explorers that mistook the uh, calcite crystals for diamonds, and uh, that's where it got its name, Diamond Head, because they thought this this whole this whole mountain was was diamonds and uh, clearly it's not Fort Rucker uh, it used to be an old uh, gunning uh, lookout and not a shot was ever fired but they have a lot of uh, pillboxes in the area and, uh, so this is the base and uh, we'll start the hike which is up this trail right here This is the base of the trail. Beautiful area. And uh, you can see there's a lot of picnic tables if you uh, want to bring lunch during the day. This is, uh, this is about 6.30 in the morning right now. And uh, in my opinion, it's the best time to climb Diamond Head. Um, the website will tell you it's in the afternoon. I don't recommend you come in the afternoon because it's very hot. Um, right now it's cool and uh, there's no no wind down in here because you're in a crater but uh, it is uh, it is quite pleasant
distance there on that one hill you can see a pillbox. There's a couple pillboxes all over um, the ridge of, there's another one, of Diamond Head itself. And again, we're right in the crater. And then behind us is the sun coming up. And uh, quite beautiful. This is a switchback trail. And this trail is, uh, uh, was a trail that they used donkeys to carry up um, all the supplies they needed to build um, the fortifications up here. A lot of, uh, a lot of movies have shot scenes in this, uh, in this crater as well. So as you can see, we started out pretty early. That's the line to the top of the summit right there. And that's uh, pretty, pretty long. Still a lot of people coming down. So you can see the trail is not bad. It is kind of rough. I definitely wouldn't wear flip-flops up in here. Um, I would wear a good pair of hiking shoes at a bare minimum. Uh, tennis shoes. Here's the, here's the first of the many uh, switchbacks. And uh, you can see the people are still coming down and coming up. The views are uh, quite beautiful. This is probably a great beginner hike, but it is, if you come to Hawaii, this is definitely one of the hikes that you want to do. It's easy, but it's cool. Uh, you can see down the hill there to the fort. Beautiful, beautiful place. And you can see the switchback. Pretty cool. Okay, so this right here, they used to actually raise supplies up with this crank. And uh, they would uh, bring the product up through here. And people are littering, they're awesome. But take a look at that view. Just an absolutely beautiful view. And uh, you can see some of the trails down there. There's the uh, pistol range that uh, I was talking about earlier. It's the east side of the island over here. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see the different plant life. There's a cactus right there. And uh, the uh, first set of steps that you're gonna encounter here. And there are uh, 74 steps on this, this set. Then you've come across the second set of steps, which is 99 and then you hit the tunnel, which is 250 feet long. And we'll talk about that when we get there. this point you have two choices you can make you can climb the stairs here which take you takes you up into the pillbox or you can continue around here and follow the switch back up most people don't go up to the pillbox they follow the switch back around 
and we're gonna we're gonna go up to the pillbox. Okay, so we're starting up the stairs. It's funny, the stairs were completely clear a few minutes ago, and as soon as I started filming, of course the uh, stairs became uh, crowded. But these are the 99 stairs up to the uh, pillbox, and uh, probably the best way to go. Like I said, there's two two different directions you can go: pillbox or a switchback. We're gonna take the switch back down. All right, so here we are at the top. Whew. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath, but uh, pretty cool tunnel. Great picture at the end of the tunnel and the spiral staircase that you climb. All right, so here's the top. Well, there's more, but they don't want you going up there. They've got a cordon off. Um, these ventilation pipes that are all shut in now. Uh, again, excuse me for breathing so hard. I just climbed a bunch of stairs. So here's some pillboxes, old gun mounts. Uh, of course, the guns aren't here anymore. And uh, observation posts. Uh, they would use this to talk to each other. And uh, you can see the amazing view as soon as we uh, come out onto the platform. So you got to crawl in a little crawl space here. So if you got fake knees or something, you know, want to be prepared for that. And uh, there's some great scuba diving down there. Great surfing. And uh, you can see the views. All the way around and back. Of course, the sun's in the east and this is the west end. As soon as we get a chance here, I'll show you Waikiki. There you go. That's what's good about coming here early, is you really don't have to fight the crowds um, too much. And uh, if you don't, then it's gonna be crowded. It's gonna take you a while to get good You can see here, this is, uh, this is the opposite side switchback. If you take the pillbox up, there's inside the pillbox where I just came from. And uh, I personally think this is the best way to go. This switchback follows the crater inside of the crater up. And this really follows the outside of the cradle, crater. Somebody lost their hat over there and some other stuff. And uh, if you drop, you better prepare your stuff because if you drop it, you ain't getting it back. View inside of the crater again. Here's where it joins up with the switchback. If you took the switch back up. And there is. The, so here's the top. And the top is not crowded right now. But let me tell you, it gets crowded. And. Uh, so here you go. Real good view of Waikiki. And way off in the distance there, you can see the twin towers. Last two towers. That's about where we live. All within the floodplain. See the plane taking off from Hickam. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Once again, from the very top, you see all the houses and mansions down there. And once again, Waikiki. You can see exactly why they, they uh, built uh, pillboxes up here. It's uh, literally, Gives you over a 180 degree view of the ocean 
uh, from east to west and directly south. So you can see you've got danger keep off signs all over the place and it's important that you follow those signs because a lot of people get hurt here every year because they don't pay attention to the signs and they climb up on stuff they're not supposed to be up on. And it's unfortunate because what happens is they get hurt and somebody's got to help them down. Um, so if, when you get up here, just obey the signs. Don't litter. Don't climb on you're not supposed to climb on. It's very dangerous. You can see the post sticking out there. If somebody falls on that, they're going to get hurt. They fall off this, they're going down the, down the hill. It's not smart to do. Excuse me. So up here, too, I've already been to the top, but I want to show you the survey marker up here. So this is uh, right in the middle of the top platform. This is a survey marker. And uh, you can read it, it's pretty cool. One more shot from of Waikiki. They're always different than the views up. And uh, coming down is the best because it's all gravity. And uh, you can see down at the bottom there, really cool lighthouse. Yeah. So again, a better view, a switch back. We took the uh, pillbox up and this is the switch back down. There's an observation point right over uh, here that uh, you can check out. You can see the switch back. And you can see the lifting hoisting point right down there where we stopped earlier. So switch back on the way down, and uh, so we've determined that getting here at 6 is not the best option. Getting here at about 6.45 and waiting for a parking space, the crowd peters down from 6 to 6.45, and there's really not many people here. Now today is a Saturday, and most people are either coming to Hawaii or they're leaving Hawaii. So inside of the cave, working your way down and out. And we figured that the crowds come about every hour and 45 minutes to two hours. So the, the tourist groups seem to come about every hour and 45 minutes to every two hours. So at six o'clock, there was a huge group here and the place was crowded. It petered down at about 6.45. And it's now currently 8 o'clock, and we've got the second wave of uh, tourists coming in. So you want to gauge your uh, visit uh, that way if you're local, or even if you're touring here, uh, you want to gauge your visit that way. You probably miss a lot of the crowds. Bam, here's the view outside of the tunnel. Really cool. Okay, again, the switchback coming down. You know, look over the edge here, you can see it. Back around to the side here. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so some more of the switch back on the way down. Boring stuff, right? But give you a good idea of what the hike to Diamond Head is. Again, as I was telling my kids, when you're coming down the, the trail here, you're gonna get tired towards the end and you wanna really pay attention. The rocks down here are very uneven and uh, the tired you get, the less you pay attention. So, and the more prone you are to getting hurt. So you wanna pay attention when you're coming down the trail. Okay, so now we're down at the bottom and you can see buses are starting to Come in, it's probably about 8.15 or 8.20. And uh, that's Diamond Head, aloha.